I'm Ray. We've been working on a series of special reports on conditions of field grist buildings and facilities. We'll be looking at both South and the high school in Minonk. Also, we'll be doing stories on West and Toluca. Today's story looks at the high school in Minonk. Hi, I'm Jake. On this edition of Nightly News, we're going to talk about our building infrastructure. And I'm here with Andrew. Andrew, can you talk about some of the structure damage to our building? Well, there's a lot of broken windows and like windows that don't close and like water fountains that like spray rust and stuff. And just a lot of damages, a lot of broken walls and such. Yeah, I also see those walking around the halls too. So you're not the only one. I'm not, I'm not. So what are some positive things you see around the building? I would say the gym is definitely one of them and uh, this lobby is pretty nice too. So what kind of improvements could the school do to make our environment a little bit better around here? I would say first you, we would fix the broken, the, ro the holes in the broken windows and fix the cracks in the, in the walls and just uh, fix some of the, a lot of the water fountains because some of them just aren't even, don't, don't, don't even work. Joe, what are some things you like about this school? Um, you know, we really do have a nice basketball gym and uh, I like the lobby with all the trophy cases and the way that's set up. Um, yeah, those are two main things. Interesting. What are some dislikes about the building? Well, you know, our weight room isn't exactly what you'd call a gold star gym. But, you know, it's, uh, it's working that way, so hopefully in the next couple of years it gets a little bit better. And, um, you know, I really don't like drinking rusty water. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, our water problems aren't the best either. Very nice. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Hello, everybody. I'm here with J-Lo. And uh, I'd like to ask you a few questions if you're okay with that. <laughs> Go ahead, Ray. You mind telling us a little bit about what's wrong with this building? Well, for... Starting off, uh, this building was never meant to last 50 years. All right. So the ceiling in some places is kind of like coming down. Uh, the wear and tear of the building is just kind of crazy. Uh, you mind tell us a few good things about the building, even though it is a little older? Pretty much just the gym. It's the newest part, and right. the new superintendent's office is pretty much like just an add-on, but it, this part of the building is still pretty nice. All right, that's pretty cool. What do you think would be a step in the right direction towards fixing these problems? In the long term, I think they should just like build a new school uh, centrally located within the towns. All right. Thank you, Jayla. <laughs> You're welcome, Ray. Hello, everybody. I'm here with Miss Wells. I'd like to ask you a few questions about the uh, building, if you're okay with that. Sure. What do you think is wrong with this building? Um, I think the age of the building and the number of different areas has made it difficult to maintain this building. So you have really older parts and you have newer parts, and the transition between the two make it really difficult to keep everything sort of watertight and, um, you know, keep all the different parts from sort of breaking or whatever happens when buildings give over time. All right, so. thank you, ma'am. Uh, can you have a couple things that are good about the building? Um, I mean, I think it's a decently sized building for the size of school that we have. You know, we have a pretty good number of classrooms. Mm -hmm. um, we have a good sized gym in that kind of that area and stuff like that so I think in general the size of it is probably plenty big enough it's just not it's hard to maintain it. Uh, what do you think would be a step in the right direction towards fixing some of those problems? Um, I think that fixing the problems is going to be challenging because of the age and sort of the makeup of the building. So there would be significant parts of the building that you would have to really redo them. You'd have to, you know, change the way that they flowed together or okay. 
change the um, style of the building and I think that would be a pretty cost prohibitive uh, type of an exercise to do. All right. Thank you, ma'am. Thanks. Hi, I'm here with Ms. Pfeiffer. Ms. Pfeiffer, what is some structural issues that we have with the high school? The building is old. Uh, there aren't enough plug-ins in some of the rooms, as you kids know when you're trying to plug in your computers and charge them for the day. Um, there are a lot of energy uh, waste during the day, particularly during the winter, when we've got, uh, if you go down the back hall and you look at those back doors, there's about that much room between those doors where heat can escape during the, uh, the winter. We have issues with uh, water fountains. I know the water fountain outside my room, I tell kids not to drink out of it because the water is very rusty and, and dirty looking. So uh, the building's old and it could use some updates, um, could use some um, energy saving things, the windows, like in my room, that whole wall of windows that could go. So those are expensive, and right now we don't have the money, but there are some very definite issues. The ceiling leaks, uh, the walls are crumbling where you go up the steps. So how would you go about fixing? What could the school do to fix these problems? I don't know legally as far as, as if the custodians can do those things in the summer. I think legally we have to hire like roofers to fix the roofs and carpenters to do the carpentry work. Um, I would spend, and other teachers are going to kill me, but I would spend less money on sending teachers to different conferences uh, and more money on making the building more comfortable. What are some good things about the building? The students, absolutely, the students. Um, I think if you ask anybody that subs in this building, and I've heard it from more than one sub and not just the same sub, that they will say they would rather sub in this building because you guys are good kids. Sometimes you're a little rowdy, as you know, but overall, Phil Crest produces some good kids. What are some good things about the building? Okay, good things about the building are you guys, you kids. Um, not just one sub, but several subs that have come into this building have said they would rather sub here than any other building that they've gone to. Uh, the kids are respectful. We have uh, kids that are interested in learning. We have a lot of really good parents in this area that raise their children with manners. Um, another good thing about the building is some of the older teachers, not just myself, but uh, some of the older teachers do a lot of things behind the scenes that you guys don't necessarily give them credit for. Um, and they work really hard to make sure that this building is a safe place for you guys and that there are things here for you guys to be interested in. Um, another good thing about the building is the school spirit. I think Phil Crest Fridays uh, was an excellent idea. Uh, it rewards kids for supporting their teams. Um, and it, it helps that we have good football and basketball teams both boys and, or boys and girls basketball and good volleyball teams, and, uh, all of those help. But um, I feel like kids, when they come here and take on the night label, that they wear it with pride.